Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for coming by today. Today I am sharing some projects using this new Courage Stamp and Die Set. This is from Ellen Hudson, and this post or this video is a part of the United We Conquer Breast Cancer Research Foundation fundraiser blog hop put on by Ellen Hudson. Now this stamp and die set is officially approved by the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, and you guys, $25 from Every set sold will go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, which is, in fact, the highest rated breast cancer organization in the United States. Together, we can make a difference and we can have great stamps and dies too. It is a win-win situation and I'm super excited to share that with you today. So in addition to the beautiful sentiments and floral stamps and coordinating dies, there's also this ribbon die and I'm using my big shot machine to cut this out of some pattern paper. This pattern paper is from the Lovely Day 6x6 pattern paper pad. I've cut that out of that pink dotted paper there and I've also cut it out of some vellum as well and now I am taking this beautiful sentiment it says you are the perfect combination of princess and warrior and I'm going to heat emboss it onto my card front here so I've prepped the surface using a little EK success powder tool I've stamped the sentiment in Versamark ink and then I'm covering it with some wow rich pale gold ultra fine embossing powder now I'm also going to stamp and emboss this little crown which is from the stamp set as well and I just love how this little crown complements that sentiment so well. Embossed in this gold, it looks absolutely adorable. So once I have those stamped and coated, I'm going to go ahead and heat set those to a really beautiful gold finish. And then I'm going to stamp some of the flowers included in the stamp set onto some Nina Solar White cardstock because I want to be able to die cut these and then layer them up onto my card. So I'm starting with the most solid. These are some layering stamps. You don't have to layer or use all of the layers. I happen to be using all of the layers today. But I started by stamping those in the Hero Arts Cotton Candy Dye Ink. And now I'm going to take the second layer and stamp those in the Hero Arts Rose Matter Ink here. And what you see me do is I've gone ahead and mounted both of these stamps on the block at the same time just to kind of save myself a little bit of time. I'm also going to stamp some of the greenery from the stamp set, and I used a combination of Hero Arts Fresh Lawn, Hero Arts Moss, and the Hero Arts Lime Green. Now for the final layer of the flower here, I'm going to use the Hero Arts Strawberry Ink, and all of those are going to kind of blend into the paper and really create a really beautiful layered effect. Now for the center of the flowers, I just grabbed one of the dots from this stamp set and I'm stamping it in some Hero Arch charcoal ink. For those smaller roses, I actually stamped off that dot before I stamped it into the center of the flower. So now I'm just using the coordinating dies. I'm lining them up over the stamped images. I'm holding them in place with some frog delicate surface painters tape and then I'm running it through my Big Shot machine. So I like my cards to have a lot of dimension. If you watch me, you know that. <laughs> so I am just using some foam adhesive squares to adhere my pink ribbon onto that vellum layer. And then I will use another layer of foam adhesive behind that entire thing to adhere that to my card front. I'm going to use kind of a combination of foam adhesive and some tape runner adhesive, some liquid glue to kind of create this grouping, which will have different dimensions for different items. So I want to create a lot of variance in the dimension and just create a really interesting grouping. So for this greenery here, I've adhered it using my Zig 2A glue pen. And this is really just kind of trial and error, kind of messing with things a lot and tucking them in and underneath. And then when I finally got the arrangement that I wanted, I left it alone and I added some sequins to it. <laughs> and I'm just adding those using some multi-medium in the matte finish from Ranger. And then I'm just going to, I just felt like it needed a little something else. So I'm taking a little bit of black and white pattern paper with a little tape runner adhesive and then adhering it onto the side. And that entire thing got adhered onto a Nina Solar White 110 pound card base. 
Now what I'm doing here is I am using that same die to cut some kids craft foam and I am going to adhere it onto my stamp block. I've used my regular tape runner here to adhere it onto my stamp block. I'll show you how to clean that off in a bit. And then I am using the Hero Arts Lime Green ink to ink this up and stamp it onto my card front. Now every time I do this where I use the craft foam and a die and use it as a stamp, I am super impressed at the results I get from that stamp. And you can clean this off and use it, which I did. I cleaned this off and created a second card using a pink ribbon. And to get the adhesive off of your stamp block, I just use one of the little alcohol swabs and just clean it right off. It comes off beautifully. Alcohol swabs are a great little tool to have in your craft room. Now for the rest of this card, I didn't do anything earth shattering. And so I wanted to talk to you about why I chose green for this card. <laughs> now my grandma had breast cancer and so Breast cancer awareness, breast cancer prevention is very important to me. But my mother also fought her own battle with cancer, and that was lymphoma. So she went through an entire stem cell transplant. And so the color for lymphoma awareness is lime green. And so I created this card with my mama in mind. We went through a huge deal to get her well. And so I know that cancer has touched all of us in some way or another. And so I wanted to just show you that this stamp and die set is really versatile. It doesn't just have to be used for breast cancer awareness. You can use it in whatever color you want to create a card for awareness for whatever cause that you want. And I think that that is a beautiful thing. Now in this video tutorial, you're only seeing me put together the lime green, but I did make it in pink as well. So you can check the still shots out over at my blog. I will have those there, as well as a link to where you can purchase this stamp and die set. Or if you just want to give to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and join in, all of our efforts together can really make a difference. So one person can do great things, but together, when we come together, we are so much more. And that is why I think Ellen called this the United We Conquer blog hop, because we are so much more powerful when we work together. So by purchasing this stamp and die set, you can feel good knowing that $25 of your purchase will go to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. That is huge, you guys. I don't know if you know how huge that is, but together we can really make a difference. And I think the ultimate goal is not only that we find a cure for breast cancer, but that we find a prevention for breast cancer so that nobody has to fight this battle. As a wife, as a mother, as a nurse, I know that that is the ultimate be all and end all for me is preventing this altogether. If you are out there and you are fighting this battle, I just want to send good thoughts and prayers your way. Keep up the fight. Know that you are not alone and that there are tons of people out there pulling for you to beat this. As always, I am so glad that you stopped by. I hope you enjoyed these projects. Be sure to head on over to my blog for more information and still shots. I hope you enjoyed a little glimpse into my heart as well. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.